Hello Scorpio, welcome to another WLC um, Weekly Love Connections reading for you for the last week of July of 2019. Um, and to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. And um, quick announcement, um, in the next month or so, I would be giving away uh, free personal readings. And how it works is that um, I will be uh, deciding the number of readings that I could um, possibly work on and um, half of which will be from uh, my subscribers uh, in YouTube and the other half of which will be from my subscribers or followers in Vimeo. So guys, if you are inclined, do follow me in Vimeo. My handle is, or my channel is um, Nomad Soul Warrior. So if you can do that, um, thank you very much. All right. So... Scorpio. This is also my thanks uh, to everyone, my way I'm saying thank you to everyone uh, because soon enough I'll hopefully be getting into my 10k subscribers. So yeah, those free readings are for that. All right. Um, okay. Scorpio, what do we have for you in love for the coming week? This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Scorpio. Whoa, the Hierophant, the Page of Cups, the World, the Ace of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon, the Six of Wands, the Knight, the Emperor, Justice, Empress, the Seven of Swords. Five of Cups, the Nine of Wands, um, a Four of Swords, and then Three of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. All right, Scorpio. You're being obedient today, huh? Um, I'm sensing that uh, you are getting into a mode of learning. Expanding your psychic abilities, actually, with this page of cups is what I'm getting. I think you're trying to see your, I think, in the process of considering committing to something. Yeah, you were in the process of, or you are currently in the process of uh, thinking, uh, getting some realizations with regards to some form of commitment or norms or standards in your life basically it this could even be um, studies or school schooling all right but for the purpose of um, love reading I do feel that um, yeah you're trying to understand the importance of this um, commitment to you or even the act of committing towards something right and um, the challenge here is the world. That means um, I'm feeling that there is difficulty in getting and um, realizing all the learnings that you can get from the cycle that you are currently in. Mm -hmm. So this could likely be that you are in a relationship and um, probably you're thinking whether is it still good to continue this or you are in a relationship with which has ended that this is very few of you right this is in a relationship where it has ended and now you are thinking of getting into another a new cycle with the same person that you're dealing with and you're just thinking how to go about it all right it feels like you are in in a relationship or connection right now where it's pretty um it's it's rocky roads perhaps you're treading on rocky roads now and that you're just wanting to see whether there could be a good conclusion to this so that you can start a new cycle. But there's that difficulty of getting to the bottom of it and um, 
getting all the learnings and then pushing into a new cycle. Right? Um, the person that you're dealing with, uh, they recognize that there is this opportunity right here for a new beginning, for a new start of something, for this connection. All right? And um, they do know that um, possibly it's not going to happen today, but it's going to happen sometime in the near future, or as and when um, the Wheel of Fortune turns. There's going to be the turning point. Um, this is something that is divinely guided. Circumstances in your life will lead you to different points in life too, right? And in each of those points, you can be up, you can be down, and um, when things, when you get this Wheel of Fortune, that means that um, things are going to turn out for your good. It may look sometimes that, you know, um, sad, it could, you know, events in your life could even make you sad at some point, but you, you wouldn't know. That actually is an act of the universe of making things right for you. Okay? So this is where this person is right now. They know that there is going to be that opportunity to um, um, make all or there's going to be that opportunity a good opportunity for a new beginning for this connection in time all right and um definitely so he may not this person may not be uh communicative as much um they believe this person believes that there's going to be that opportunity and at the same time they're trusting their, their intuition they're getting into the habit of trusting themselves, accepting what happens every single day, and just letting letting things be for now. Okay? Um, Scorpio, the way this person sees you right now is that And they see you as probably, well, making things, the outside appearance, you may look happy and all, but this person is viewing you as someone who probably has lost uh, that sense of, uh, the sense of purpose or the sense of um, meaning into this connection and that they're hopeful they're hopeful that at some point you would so a uh, concrete example is that this person may expect you to plan things out with them move forward with them right but then apparently the way they view you is that you're not doing that there's that um, halt in making an offer so they they feel that well probably you don't see the purpose or you don't see the meaning of this connection anymore and that you're not just doing anything about it but on the outside you feel good you feel okay you get attention from other people as well this is how they view you okay with regards to their heart space um this person, Scorpio, is wanting to work things out, to bring back um, that stability, the structure, um, perhaps even control, but not to the extent of um, squeezing you in, but more so um, bringing back control into this connection because they feel that that is the right thing to do. Or they, and they feel that um, bringing back um, that structure and balance is the right thing to do here in this connection. Yeah. Their hopes. Um, if you are not with this person right now, their hopes for this connection is that they can, you know, get back with you and get back together and have that expression of um, emotions or I think this person desires you 
even if you're not together. They desire you, and they're hoping that there is a way for them to get back into your good graces and express that emotions, express that desire to you. All right? But if you are together and you're wanting to get off this uh, relationship or the person that you're dealing with, um, what I'm getting here is that for some of you, for little of you, I think they, this person is hoping to at least introduce or to have that uh, acceptance of an open relationship in this connection where it's there's that freedom to be able to express emotions express um yeah emotions and desires to other people without having to really be accountable for something that is for little of you all right but for most of you who are in this who are resonating to the fact that your person or you is wanting to put back structure in this um, connection you're actually um, wanting to have that uh, ability to be back again and um, express your emotions towards each other because this is emotional awareness this is going for what you think you want and sometimes you need to be sneaky because there are restrictions you think that it's not properly um, not well accepted you know so you sneak around yeah so sneaking around away or it could also be sneaking around towards the relationship okay and for the actions here I'm getting that that person that you're dealing with is some um, pretty much still feeling sad right now and um, feeling sad of what has happened to both of you in the past primarily because that was their wish fulfillment at some point, they may not show you when you're together, but to them, they were satisfied with it. Um, to them, they they reached that point of feeling um, contented, all right? And um, they there may they there might not be communication for this week at least, or even you know an act of um, reaching out for the main reason that they are trying to heal, heal up, and I'm um, doing a lot of thinking, internalizing of what has happened in the past yeah. and likely outcome here is well simply put this could mean that you know there could be a lot of options out there for either you or this person but the way I'm seeing here is that um, the likely outcome is this person or you could still be in a state of confusion. You're not getting much clarity with regards to what has happened in the past that has caused this um, sadness. Yeah, And this should have, sooner or later, need to have that element of acceptance of what has happened in the past. Once you clear the cloudedness in your mind, you need to have that acceptance in order to move forward. Yeah. And pretty much this is what he's doing right now. From the Three of Swords, you're trying to get the truth, get to the heart and the truth of the matter in order to release this confusion. So I think in, in probably in the next week or so, let's see how this um, energy transforms because this person currently is in that process of processing the pain, processing the, the confusion of this uh, connection. All right, what messages do we have from your person, Scorpio, for you? All right. All right. So they're telling you that a lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Karma is bitch. I finally got mine. I will come back for you. The thought of you still does things to me. All right. So that's basic. That basically means that now he's be they're beginning to. Uh, miss you for the fact that they know how it feels um, yeah how it feels if um, you know you're not in their life I know I made a huge mistake so they're repentant okay and that my family and upbringing are a bigger factor than I realize this could also be due to the fact that perhaps they're you know you're you have different um, set of values and um, 
it needs time to really be in sync if you are in a relationship or connection. So Scorpio, I'm going to leave it at that. Hope this resonates and gives you insights. Um, if it does, please leave me comments in the section below. Hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me in Vimeo um, to enter into that free reading, um, uh, not contest, but um, giveaways. Yeah. And what else? If this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.